Train Lover 1974 presents Diesel Saves the Day. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Or November had arrived and it would be Christmas time soon. The engines were getting prepared for what would be the Christmas rush. You stay here, me hearties. I need to go get Diesel's train. Oh, that's Diesel. Duck, I think you need to really let go of your prejudice towards Diesel. I mean, it has been years since his last incident. Yes, but I still don't trust him. He could be up to something. And I'll be there to stop him when it does. Yeah, I gotta agree with Boko here, Duck. Don't you think maybe you're taking this little Diesel and you rivalry a bit too much? Maybe. But I just don't know if I can trust him. I mean, he nearly did get me sent away, and he was one of the reasons why I crashed into a barber shop. I know what you mean, Duck. To be truth, if I was in your position, I'd probably still hold a bit of a grudge. It's not a grudge, per se. It's just more suspicion. It's hard to trust someone when they've had so many incidents. I mean, when he came back here after that, he ended up shoving China clay cars into the sea. Then the third time, he tried proving he was the world's strongest engine. Okay, you know what? That one, I'll admit, wasn't as bad, but still, it was pretty stupid of him. Then the fourth time, he nearly got Fergus sent away to the Ironworks, where he could have been scrapped. Fair point. But like I said, maybe you should try giving him another chance. As some people say, third time's the charm. Anyway, I have to get going. See you guys later. Later, Boko. <laughs> third time's the charm. He's been back. He's been sent away four times. He just got lucky on the fifth one. <sighs> well, to be fair, Duck, you only really gave him two chances before. You never really gave him, like, exactly, you know... A third chance. Because I don't know if I want to give him a third chance. Like I said, the last time I did, he ended up shoving China clay cars in the sea. And the first time, he knew he got me sent away. So Topham Hat was never going to send you away. He just sent you to Wellsworth where he knew you'd be safer. He knew if you stayed at Titman, the big engines would have bullied you for what, you, what they thought you did. I guess you're right, Percy. I guess you're right. Yo ho ho, the bucket of rum, the tailor swift, and the captain yawns. Alright. Phew. Here's the train. Alright then. Well, before Diesel gets here, I have to get going anyway. I have a train to go take. See you guys later. See you, Percy. Yar, see you, me hearty. You know, I overheard you and Percy Boko's conversation, and I do have to agree. I do agree that Diesel is a young swipper. Young, well, sea monster, per se. But you do need to try to give him another chance. I mean, he has changed his ways compared to what he was last time. I know. I guess I'll have to... Diesel then rolled in. Hello, Duck. Hello, Diesel. Yar, welcome back to the docks, Diesel. Uh, Bill and Ben, anywhere? Oh, oh, no, you don't need to worry about those two. They're stuck at the China Clay Pits right now. Meanwhile... Bum, bum, dun. It was his fault! Har, har. Those two can be right scallywags. Right. Where's my train? It's right behind you. Okay. Are you sure you know where to go, Diesel? I know where to go, Duck. I'm due to take this to the other railway. Now, if you excuse me, I must be off. Goodbye, Duck. Goodbye, Diesel. See, look, you two are already getting along. How is that getting along? Well, I know you two usually insult each other whenever you see each other. Like, he'd call you Quacker, and you would call him, like, a weasel. Huh. I guess you're right. Well, anyway, I must be off. I have a passenger train to go take. I'll see you later, Salty. See you, Duck. Diesel rolled down the line, thinking about what happened. That's weird. Usually, Duck would call me Weasel, 
Now you should come quacker. Maybe things are becoming better between us. Maybe so, Mr. Diesel. Maybe so. But as Diesel was approaching the crossover switch to lead on to the other track, it happened. <laughs> Um, Mr. Diesel, brakes, brakes. Toad applied his brakes, but it was too late. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh dear, this is not good. Diesel stopped further up the line, shocked to see the mayhem. Ah, oh, bother. Now I'm going to be late. Never mind about that. Look. The van's crossing o is blocking the line. We need to get that off the track. <sighs> Let's try to see what we can do. Diesel reversed. His train touching inches from the back. Jan. Okay, so how do we get this thing off the track? Well, we could go get a crane. That could take hours. We need to alert the signal when. when... <clears throat> oh no. I know that whistle. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Mr. Diesel. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, that's just great. Now we lost our tanker. Never mind about that. Come on, Toad. Whoa. Keep pulling. What in the? Holy moly, driver brakes! Duck slammed on his brakes, and with one mighty heave, well, that was close. Phew, that was close. Too close for comfort. That night, Sir Tom had had a word with Diesel. Diesel, I am very proud of you. You helped prevent a terrible accident that could have happened. As a reward, you shall receive a new coat of paint. Oh, thank you, sir. You are very welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting to attend to. At night... He's probably going to McDonald's. I heard that. <laughs> hey, um, Diesel. I wanted to thank you for what you did for me today. And I have realized you have changed. I mean, the old Diesel would have probably just left the trucks and I would have probably crashed right into the van. But you didn't. I guess I did. See? You two are getting along now. That's good to hear. What do you say, Diesel? Want to try to be friends? I guess. And from that fate forth, the engine swore to try to be better friends.